What's up everybody, this is Harry. And today I'll be doing a test with cement and adding basalt fiber chop as a reinforcing cement additive. And the second will be Helix Micro Rebar as a cement additive concrete reinforcer. So what I'll do first is mix up a batch of cement. I'm going to add the basalt fiber chop to it. I'm gonna add a good big handful full, full of the basalt fiber chop. I'm gonna pour it into one of the little boxes I made using the four tiles. Um, then I'll mix up the same batch of cement sand mix and I'll add the Helix Micro Rebar to that and pour that into this uh, slab that I'm going to make for it. So let's do that now. I'm using this bottle as uh, my measurer. I'll decide how much water I need to add based on the size of this container. So first I'm going to add my sand. and. I'm not sure how much I need for this, so I'm going to go with four scoops of sand. Alright, so I have six scoops of sand. Okay, and that's uh, three scoops of Portland cement. So I'm going to mix that up. like a pretty good mix so what I'll do now is grab a big handful of basalt fiber chop it's huge overkill that's what I'm going for because I really want to test the difference between the fiber chop as a reinforcer and the helix micro rebar just to get it to flow a little better. Oh, 
Okay, that's my cement. chop in there. I didn't say that was the best trial in the world here. All right, so that mix is good. I used about half the bottle, so that's pretty good. I'll use the other half to make this next mix. So it's uh, six scoops of sand. Three scoops of cement. Just make sure you're still rolling. Okay. So that's the same cement sand. So I'm gonna just add the entire contents of this bottle, which is half. I know I pre-mixed the cement the sand before first, but this is the same thing.
Okay, so next what I have is a handful of this Helix Micro Rebar. Actually, to be fair, I'm going to put a little more of this because I had a lot of basalt fiber chop. Definitely looser than the first. Had a little bit more water in here than the first one. Okay, so that's, this is going to be our test. I have a slab here that has the basalt fiber chop mixed in it. Then I have this slab that I made that has the helix micro rebar mixed in it. And looking at it close, you don't, you don't see the helix micro rebar sticking up. Especially if you float it right, not this quick job I'm doing. Anyway, being how they're uh, tiny pieces of wire, they're not sticking up. They lay flat in the cement. The uh, basalt fiber chop sticks up a little bit. I wonder though if I had a little more water like this one, if it would have been more level, but it's not bad, it's just a few fibers I can feel sticking up straight up. But otherwise, we'll let that cure and then I'll devise some kind of test. Maybe I'll take a sledgehammer and drop it from a certain height and see how long it takes, how many drops it takes to crank it. And then I'll do the same with this. Or maybe I'll come up with something else, or maybe you guys can suggest how I can test this. Anyway, that's it for now. Peace out.